Time now for estate planning with Ryan Knight. And Ryan, we all have assets, but you say it's important for us to understand the differences between probate and non-probate assets. Absolutely, so non-probate assets are gonna be assets that are gonna pass different than probate assets. And the reason that is, is things like jointly owned assets. If you're a married couple and you have a house in both of your names, that's jointly owned, it's gonna pass different than if it would be required to go through the probate process. Assets that you have that have beneficiary designations on them are considered non-probate probate assets, those are going to pass different. Those are all going to pass outside of a last will and testament. There's a common misconception that if I have a will, everything I own passes according to the terms of that will, and that's not the case. So it's important to make sure you have everything working in conjunction. So if you have a will that says two children equally when the first or the second of us passes away, we want to make sure the beneficiary designations are also set up in the same way. That way everything passes the exact same way. Okay, great information. Thanks so much. And that is your estate planning tip of the week.